Distance, 2 miles. Time, 17 minutes, 50 seconds. Well, we got the recording on the 2 mile mark. Friday, May 7th. It's about mid-70s to high 70s. And guess what? We have Shady today. Shady wanted to come running today. Goes too, but she seems a little limpy. Now, let me put this into perspective. Ghost and Shady always fight for the right side. Where Ghost is at now. And if Shady, which she did today, beats her to the right side, the first two miles, Shady was on the right side. Honey, ground squirrel up ahead. Shady, was on the right side. Oh, I'm gonna freaking eat it right here, running downhill. Let me stop, honey. Let me stop. Honey, hey, leave it. Okay, honey. Leave it, honey. Leave it. Honey, leave it. Honey. I'm gonna have to grab her collar, she keeps pulling. But I'm on flat ground, a little better, but. So, Shady was on the right side for the first two miles, and Ghost was upset and trying to beat her to that side. But Shady kept beating her today. And when Shady beats Ghost to the right side, they don't outrun Honey. Honey will stay in the middle. But Shady got the right side. Ghost was upset. And she would pout. And the way she pouts is she pretends she's hurt. I stop. I check her paw. Everything is fine. And then when I'm done checking, she'll sprint to the right side to beat Shady to the right side. And then she's all fine and dandy. Like, look now. She's fine and dandy because she's on the right side. So it's a little drama queen because she wants the right side. But I have all three dogs today, which I love. I love wearing out all three. I love running with all three. It makes me feel like my pack is complete. But with the weather being mid 70s, high 70s at most, wind factor puts it to about low 70s, so it feels really good running. And clear sunny skies. Time wise, I don't care. As you heard, I think it was 17 minutes. But, oh, honey's already hugging the corner. Look. She's like, let's go this way, let's go this way. Oh, here goes the battle. Shady goes to the outside. Now watch Ghost start complaining that she's hurt or whatever. So time-wise today, I don't care. I got all three dogs. As long as they're all three running, enjoying the afternoon, it's a Friday. That's what I care great beautiful day to enjoy my end of the week run if we beat 27 minutes great if we don't great either way now I gotta walk a little slower because I got all three and all it takes is for one of them to dart out down this little cliffside and all three of them will surely take me out. So, I have to be a lot easier with all three. And again, that's why time-wise it don't matter. Okay, sit. Sit, honey. I mean, Shady, ghost, sit. Sit. Sit, ghost. Ghost. Nope, stay. 
stay. And they got tangled. So I gotta pull their tangle out. Oh, they're cleared. All right, good. All right, let's go. We're safe. We're down safe. And in the positioning, the pole position of the dogs, Shady's got the inside. Now watch Ghost try to beat Shady out and then cut to that outside. Or she'll slow down and cut to the outside and try to run around the back. But I kid you not, it's like freaking racing. It could be freaking Mario Andretti for all they care. They battle for position. And it's funny to watch. When I first started having that, oh, doves over here. Bunch of birds. I kept stopping for everything. Cause I'll be concerned that Ghost was over here all hurt. But I started seeing the trend. And it was her trying to get the outside or the inside if we're turning right. Oh, and that snake we saw yesterday was indeed a king snake. It was a California king. We saw it right up here on the right. Let's go. Pretty colors. It was a dark brown with some bright yellow stripes running along the body. And it's crazy because the times I've seen the snakes just basking in the sun on the side, I don't see them running up to them. I see them once I pass them because the color stands up. California kings eat rattlesnake. So seeing that guy there tells me there's less rattlesnakes in the area due to that California king. Mind you, I don't hate rattlesnakes. I actually, out of all the snakes, I like the rattlesnake the most. I think it looks cool. But I respect the snakes. Because I don't want to get bit. You guys are too close to the bushes. Let's go. But king snakes are harmless to humans. Yes, they can bite. I don't think they got venom. Actually, the venomous. Or, yeah, venomless. Not venomous. or non-venom, they can bite. I'm sure it'll probably hurt. Some snakes with the multi teeth, it says when they bite you, it feels like sandpaper. I don't even want to chance it. I don't care how it feels. I prefer not to feel it. But anyways, I digress. California snakes are harmless to humans. <sighs> Great run on our Friday. All three dogs. Man, I'm sinking down in this sand. Soft sand is a killer workout. I see a tractor working. 
are the dogs out? They were either there, not there yesterday, or didn't see us run by. So I'm trying to look, make sure there's no snakes in these branches, but also look and make sure there's no dog up there. slowing down here. Yes, we get a breather. Alright, let's go. Sweet, no dogs. Good. So, in our runs, we've seen gopher snakes, racers. Distance three miles, time 30 minutes, zero seconds. 30 minutes, but we just stop. On the hike down, on the log crossing, and walking where the Long Valley Ranch is. Come on, girls. Still good. I'm running with all three of my dogs. It's great. Gotta keep the chain up. I'll take the side riverbed again. Only so that. Let's go. We don't have. the roadside hazard. Come on. And again, we slow down here. Good dog. Let's go leave it. All right, we're in the clear. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, two rabbits, honey, uh, and I got Shady running too. So both of those do a pretty good pull. Come on, let's go. Hold on, Shady, go around me.
And then of course we gotta walk over here. And I keep the tension on the rope, or the leash, I mean, so I control as much as I could in regards to where they're going. But at the same time, I got to follow my step and then check ahead of them where they're going. Because I don't want to step on the snake looking for their step, but I don't want them to step on a snake for me to step on a snake. All right, we're good. Let's go. See if I get another leg workout here with them trying to charge. They swear they'll be able to catch rabbits. Even when I had them off leash during winter, by the time they got to where they saw the rabbit, the rabbit was gone. Rabbits are so freaking agile and quick. There's, oh, <laughs> there's no way they're catching them. I heard a rattling in the bush behind me, and it was where that rabbit had taken off, so I think there was another rabbit back there. Not just the, the soft sand. When they take off like, oh, there's a rabbit up ahead. There's... When they take off like that, it's, it's, I'm basically the anchor on a, on a tug of war. And I'm trying to hold the rope from getting pulled. And I got these three dogs, mainly Shady and Honey. Honey by yourself, Shady by yourself, I can handle with ghost but when it's when it's honey and shady those two can really pull those two critters those two paws can really dig and really put in some power in the run but again that's the purpose why we're out here right to expense their energy so they get home and they're tired and they're not digging and they're not running around fighting each other because Honey and Shady have gotten into a couple squabbles with each other. Okay, up, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up, up, let's go. All right, end of the road or end of the recording. I still got to run and get back home, which is another two miles from here. But see you guys tomorrow.